Officials at Christie's don't think the global credit crisis will stop art lovers from bidding during two of the auction houses' biggest sales of the year. Auctions of Impressionist and Modern Art and Postwar and Contemporary Art are scheduled for early November. Among the highlights, this Picasso. To see this sort of juxtaposition of the surrealist elements with the love of his life, this glorious, glorious palette, uh, it's an extraordinary painting, fresh to the market by Pablo Picasso, the leading light of our field. Christie's expects it will bring in between 18 and 25 million dollars. And there's a Kandinsky, also estimated in the multi-million dollar range. We're estimating it at 15 to 20 million dollars. And I suspect on um, Thursday night here at Christie's in New York, it'll set a new world record for an early Kandinsky. Some of the art is being sold by the rich and famous. This painting is on commission from Lars Ulrich, the drummer for the rock band Metallica. But financial experts say some of Christie's estimates may be a bit high. My guess is that we will see a uh, similar performance at the evening auctions in New York that we saw overseas, perhaps uh, maybe half to two-thirds the estimate and comparable prices maybe down between 10 to 20 percent. The Impressionist and Modern Art auction is expected to bring in up to $256 million. Christie's hopes the post-war and contemporary art sale nets $297 million. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.